the lane. He would have already been able to shove against Ian, but having kill pressure as well is pretty damn big. Well, ADD has pushed forward. The stun will come through from the hook shot. The mission is wrapping around an ADD. Oh, it seems like uh, maybe all hope lost here. Just have to flash. Flash flag and drag, and Ambition doesn't have his own, Exception. so we'll... Uh, lot to be excited about as well, mid lane party. Yeah, he's gonna get stunned up, flash in for the play, Crown gonna get locked on oh! oh, the protection from Max! Finds the death sentence, and that's gonna be first blood going over to MVP. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, sick hook from Max. Could argue that there was no other way for Crown to get out than flash in that direction. We still have to reward him for the smart path in his top lane. Well, in the meantime, yeah, pop-up coming through. ADD still without his Roaming. flash. Will really nice up there. We're going to see the replay. Yeah, give me that close-up. The moment that the flay comes through, consider that if he flashes top side, you don't really expect that. The minion wave was coming, so the percentage flash was correct. towards... It feels I, like... I, I actually don't know. Those are like the two Britney Spears songs that I can think of. Right I mean, you're, you're hitting the classics for sure. Yeah. It's in that era, but Crown now going to get locked up. Body slam with the flash coming through. They pop him out and ambition. Does he arrive in time to turn this one around? Max is coming through as well, but they find the kill in onto Beyond, but that still will be traded back here for Crown now. Ambition getting the pop up Getting locked up by the box is going to be handing that double kill over. This in particular has been oh, super yeah. on point. Well, watch the replay. You'll notice that Ian opens with ult, and you might ask why. Why does he open with ult? It's not max damage. He doesn't have items. It's because Beyond is there, and he just wanted to get more spears on the field to guarantee that the stun would hit, because he would be able to guarantee the stun, then Beyond would come through, and inevitably they would take him no, down. Give him some minute. It's more about the vision preparation and. MVP have done some great stuff as top side. Hello, it's going to be the body slam for JJ, not clipped by that explosion there from the casket. Now Beyond goes over the wall, finds Ambition. Poor JJ just gets destroyed, however, couldn't pop the shield in time. He hasn't ulted yet. As the team arriving with Crown immediately has to flash over the wall to get himself to safety. Ambition following in with ADD up in the top lane. TP is available, Crown in mid. We'll throw out the Weaver's wall, try to cut them off. TP coming through right on the backside of the pit from ADD. Beyond coming over, gonna be looking for the seal. The hook connects in onto Ambition. Can they find it? Yes, they do. Devour comes through, Core JJ spinning him out. Trying to create some distance here as ADD comes over the wall with a flag and drag, makes it into the abyssal, into the abyssal voyage and will be able to exit. Inevitability of QV starting to pile up. QV has a teleport advantage here, remember. No way for Jarvan to answer. Uh-huh, looking for Crown, gets the root and body slam connects and he is gonna fall. One up, there's no TP available from ADD, but he's already beginning to walk over. Interrupting him on the mini map. Maybe trying to find that 1v1. Chunks him down to about half as the rest of the team goes over onto the Baron. Exit ultimatum thrown down, kills him right as he flashes. A nice one there from QV, but now needs to make it over to the pit to try to stop this 50 -50. one out. That's going to be the thing coming down. That's going to be the spike out from beyond. The redemption is what I meant to say. Gets that heal up on the max, keeping him alive. After the pick on Crown, we're going to see the replay of the 1v1. This is just the reality of both experience and items and just how the matchup goes. Jarvan will not uh, win out. The flash there was a uh, question on a split second thing is, oh, okay. Hello. That was a long distance. Hexec ultimatum as QA follows him through on the flag and dragon. ADD will just get finished it's off. Still... Weaver's wall put down for terrain. Breaks falling low, will be taken. Teleport from ADD, they're looking for a fight, but so difficult to pull up. Nice little chunk out there onto Roller. ADD over the wall. He's far away he's though. Way popped in. Cataclysm coming down. Redemption does hit as Ruler has to jump his way back. Or JJ can get locked up by the death sentence, but he is still alive. And now Kimei comes in from the back side. Throws down the Hexec ultimate, but he's just taking way too much damage. Tries to go back and gets interrupted by the Flag and Dragon. He is going to fall as Maha finds the kill. Now Core JJ ignite taking. Barely gets a shield off to keep himself alive as Ambition goes into the back line. Gets rid of the Syndra, but it's still a double kill. A triple going over to Maha, looking up. for more. Quattro kill. Can he get it? No, he cannot. Scumbag ADD will claim it. Doesn't give him the Benta, but MVB come out massively on top. Yeah, safety are... first from MVP. We're going to see the replay. A lot happened in this replay. So first ADD goes super deep. The rest of his team takes six seconds to actually close the distance. Well, JJ falls low, but you see Cubay's model on top of the center. You think it's over, but the displacement actually forces Cubay to end the ultimatum or be forced out of the ultimatum early. Suddenly, Cubay, the person with all the gold, all the threat, is dead, and Maha was free hitting from the moment the Rek'Sai ult ended. There was no threat onto Maha, not quite a Penta. At the end of the day, the Quadra came in just as. It was a very low health bar. On the final map. one year later. So it's going to be an inhibitor for Baron as far as we can see. And it might be more than just the inhibitor. I, see how, I don't really see how that can be. I mean, now they're going to have the Baron in power. almost certainly have to. It's pretty easy. They have a Jarvan. I think it's time to go for MVP. Well, it's going to be 
actually pushing up all of Samsung, kiting back, just surrendering the turret and the inhibitor. What's, how much can they surrender and what will MVP go for? The inhibitor will be free. But MVP, they want more. I mean, maybe they just go for the victory right here because Cube does not have the TP. It'll be a long channel on the recall. Weaver's Wall does get thrown down, but the first Nexus turn has been claimed. Cube going into the base, trying to finish this one off. The power comes down onto Ambition to help keep him alive, but Ruler is locked into the Cataclysm, gets popped back up, and he is going to go down. Maha, another double kill going over to the Zaya as they look to finish this one off. Ambition low. Can't do a damn thing. And MVP, they finally got it to pick up a set win. Tenth place versus Samsung, the number one team in the league. They take them down 2-1. It truly was David versus Goliath. And even after game one, you thought, okay, Samsung, play it seriously, you'll get back into it. But over three games, MVP were the better of the two teams. Max on the Thresh, second time with the support counterpick. The Thresh in the early game allowed the Syndra to snowball. And Crown, the star of their win a couple of days ago, was stymied on the... Tilia only really had some decent weavers, while certainly wasn't a relevant damage threat going a fairly tanky build. MVP maybe still will be in the bottom two, but on this day, no one can deny that they upset Samsung, really reset some of Samsung's momentum in a post-SKT era or so it feels. And now, it's all about the top five still, Achilles, because still we're unsure of exactly who will be going through to the in order in the top five, and also who will be going into the weekend as the first ranked team because Longzhu Gaming now, if they 2-0 ever 8, they will actually jump.